Hey there all, once again I am back with the last and final series of the tournament, the winner take all best of 5 between me and Candy. The stakes are high, with a t-shirt, mug and 25k medallions up for grabs, neither player can afford losing, but who will prevail? Oh who am I kidding, if not for bragging rights I wouldn't give a shit about the shirt and mug, no offense to Ninja Kiwi and their merchandise and all. But I just view those as a luxury prize at most. More on that later. For now let us talk about these games. Based on what I saw on Candy's Games vs Tyler, I knew he was going to be real aggressive, with rarely before seen rushes that he was hoping I would get caught off guard with, but to his demise I already saw his patterns vs Tyler and prepared for it this time around. Props to him though for coming up with new shit. By that point of the tournament I'm sure everyone was sick of my oh my god so boring no rushing pussy defense strategy that goes to round 38 every time, so at least Candy's here to switch it up. But if I'm being honest with you I'd still prefer facing Tyler because then it'd be a clash of the same strategy and who could pull it off better, and trust me, that would make for some intense games barring the first 20 rounds or so, or both of us would just be saving Eco. So yeah, by coming up with new shit I mostly meant picking on orthodox cards like the 0-0 bomb Candy picked, but I'm still unsure why he would pick it because it's utter dog shit. If you want lead popping power, just use the 1-1 one -one wizard, which also has a 7 pierce purple bolt attack alongside its fireball, and if you want to send blacks then there's a glaive ricochet card that's even pretty eco efficient. I guess Candy just wanted 2 in 1 card even if it meant sacrificing some efficiency, but still I wouldn't use it, there's a good reason I ranked it number 3 on worst cards ever. Other than that card everything looks pretty normal on Candy's side, except for the fact he's not using the laser cannon as well having a lightning wizard in place of a juggernaut. Considering both towers are similar in price and similar in bloom sends. It's really a toss up on which one you use, but I just use the Juggernaut because it complements the laser cannon much much better. Ok so here comes the rush by Candy, it's the round 19 Moab sent from the plasma which I was fully expecting from his game versus Tyler, but no worries because with the help of the sabotage, another laser cannon and a monkey boost, that rush has basically been nullified and it ain't even close. So you see. That's why I opted to play this boring as fuck defend strategy, simply put nothing, not a single card rush in the game can defeat it if you play the deck right. Those 4-2-0 farms I had were crucial in defending otherwise I'm not even sure if I would have enough money to afford a sabotage, not that it's necessarily needed though but I feel if you didn't use its slow ability then you would be cutting it real close with just two laser cannons. Alright. On game 2 it looks like Candy has picked a game. I don't know what's up with a game but so many people pick this damn map in the tournament, especially against me, and that's a bad move by them because they're playing right into my advantage, which is basically any map except for pools, hydro, ink blot, ice flow, and snowy castle. The common denominator between those maps is one, most of them are short, making it hard to defend all those rushes I mentioned earlier that I could easily defeat on longer maps like A game, and 2, little to no room for farms means I won't have that safety cushion of selling farms to afford whatever I need. It's really a shame nobody picked Ice Flow or Snowy Castle at all during the whole tournament, but I guess it's because nobody prepared for it, ironically that would be their best chance of winning versus me though, lol. Turning our heads back into the game you will see I am actually down in lives, so for the first time in this whole tournament the aggression is finally at my hands, but wait, you don't have any rush cards I sub. Well yes I do actually, I have one rush card and that's all I need. You'll see it in a bit. I just want to address the chat right now. I'm watching the replays of it during my tournament games and it was funny to see people trying to give me advice on what to do and shit, lol. Like for example in the game versus me and blaze it people were yelling at me to rush on round 20 even though both of us were playing on battle river with equal lives, 
which makes no sense because I don't even have rushing cards that you can send on round 20, plus no point in risking a rush when you can easily force a tie. I know what I was doing guys, even funnier was all the GG, rip I said comments when Blaze sent out a ZOMG rush on round 25, come on guys, did you really think I wasn't going to prepare for that? I'm telling you, not being cocky or anything like that, this strategy I'm using is not beatable on medium to long maps, not even with a ZOMG rush, by then you'll have enough money to afford a few sabotages, a ray of doom and a ground zero for insurance. It's especially unbeatable on quick battles, because lives don't matter, so you don't have to over defend to keep 150 lives all game and so you can be even more greedy with eco. It's not the deck you want to bring if you wanna go super hashtag epic late game though, for that you'll probably want to bring a temple, 4-2 cannon and shit like that. Just it's not practical to bring a temple in the tournament when you're going round 38 max. So again back to the battle versus me and Candy, it is my turn to rush now since I'm down on lives, so look carefully at what I do here. Obviously I'm planning a ZOMG rush, but right when I'm a few thousand short I notice a shit ton of pinks coming onto my side, meaning Candy just uses ground zero card for ego. That's 15,000 down the drain for him that won't come back for another 2 minutes and a half, so I made the split second decision to sell a few of my farms and send out those ZOMGs a tad bit earlier on round 23, knowing Candy won't have the money to defend it. And damn right he doesn't, in fact he barely had enough defense to defend the AI balloons there, same with my side too, lol. Let it be known that a game computer sent balloons are deadly come round 20. So Candy knows he can't beat this rush so he's countering with another plasma rush, but now dude, you see how those farms came in handy, by selling them all I had just enough to afford ground zero and that's the game. Thing brings up the question, what if Candy was using my strategy, and what if he actually had the money to defend the round 23 rush instead of counter rushing? Here is the answer. It's incredibly hard to defend this rush, admittedly even with me and Tyler's strategy, in our practice games we both sent out round 23 rushes and was barely was able to survive them, even with the aid of increased ego since we went a little greedy on those games. And given how players like us could barely defend it, how about the other 99% of the player base, they seem pretty doomed don't they? And they are. In a month's time I wouldn't be surprised if you saw this strategy pop up in every card battles game, lol, assuming the devs don't change the balance at all during that time, but I think if they watch this tournament then they would see there's some serious flaws in the game, most notably in the fact that laser cannon and ground zero is too freaking OP. I rambled for far too long didn't I, so I think I'll cut it off here. Before I go I'd like to announce the 5 winners of the giveaway, if you're any of these 5 Reddit users on the screen right now then congratulations, go check your Reddit inbox and follow the instructions to pick up your lovely prize of one theoretical BFB Coliseum win. I can only ballpark right now that the indoor pools game just ended, and with that it means it's 2-1 for me at the moment, I told you short maps were my weak point. Luckily I get to choose the next map and so I'll obviously pick one to my advantage in offside, which should essentially play the same as a game. I better go now, as always I really appreciate likes and comments, 1000 on this one and I'll give away a free t-shirt. Have a marvelous day.